Hey, good morning. Welcome back. Happy Monday, everyone. Uh, this is a quick Monday motivation. I'll tell you, it's going to be really quick, but uh, this morning, the Lord put in my spirit, there are times where you're going to have to build in the dry season, building in the dry season. And I was reading um, a book, actually, and it kind of mentioned Noah, and that's kind of what sparked the thought and how Noah was what, what God said Noah was the only upright man at that particular time before he was going to flood the nation or destroy the nation. And he gave Noah some instructions that he wanted him to build an ark in the middle of what was essentially a drought, in the middle of a dry season. And there are times where God is going to tell you to do something to where it's going to seem like it's a dry season, whether it's a dry season naturally or spiritually. But he's going to be asking you to, to build something during that dry season, during that drought. And he's getting you prepared for what's to come. And, and, and it's not going to make a whole lot of sense. You're going to have to really walk in that thing, walk by faith about that. And my layman's term for faith is essentially doing something or believing in something that doesn't make sense. And naturally, we do th we'll do look at somebody or look at something just like they looked at Noah and be like, look, that makes absolutely no sense. This man is building this big old ark in the middle of a dry, basically the middle of a desert. No rain, no water for my house. There hasn't been rain or nothing in years and years and years. And here it is. This man is building, not only is he building a boat, but he's building this humongous, massive ark. And it, it didn't make a lot of sense. And then sometimes it may not even make a whole lot of sense to you. It may not have made a lot of sense to Noah, but Noah was so close to God that he didn't question the assignment that God had given him. He walked in it regardless of whether it made sense to him, whether it made sense to the outsiders, or whether even whether or not it made sense to his family. It was his assignment or his job to do what thus said the Lord. So the Lord said, I want you to build this ark. Or Noah didn't question it. Even if he didn't understand it, he didn't question it though. He continued to do what God told him to do. And there's going to, this is a season where God is telling people he needs you to start building within this dry season. And it may not be a dry season for us per se, even in our lives spiritually or financially, but just around the nation. We see that the, the church, many of the churches are in a dry season spiritually. They may be convening and having churches and doing all types of things, but the spirit of the Lord is not dwelling in these places. It's dry. And in that, God is telling some people, he's rising some people up and having you do some things that's going to be maybe unorthodox, that's not going to seem uh, necessarily popular, or it may not even make a whole lot of sense to the outside, and it may not make a whole lot of sense to you. But if he's given you that call and he gave you the and he's given you the blueprints, go ahead and start building, even if it's a dry season. Just like Noah, he told Noah, I need you to build this ark, but here are the dimensions. This is how I need you to do it. Why I need you to do it. I need you to build it out of this. He was very specific about what he wanted done. So if God has given you that and he's given you the blueprint, he's given you the layout. Find yourself following what God has told you to do, because when the rain comes, it's going to be exactly what, uh, what the world needs, what you what God had for you. The thing that you built, the assignment that God had for you is going to be needed when the rain comes, when the flood comes. So find yourselves getting prepared. I know sometimes it seems like, Lord, do, do you really want me to do this? Or Lord, I don't understand why you why have me do this. This hasn't happened in years or that hasn't been successful in years or nobody's done that in decades. So why me? And it's not up to us to question. It's up to us to say, okay, Lord, whatever your will is, I'll do. Wherever you want me to go, I'll go. Send me, God, I'll go. Even in this dry season, if you want me to build in this dry, in this this dry, build a boat in the desert, I'll build it. If you want me to uh, 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 build a whatever, God, send me, I'll do it. So uh, this is the season of building. I believe it. I've he I'm hearing the Lord speak vividly and clearly that it's time to begin to build, even in, in, the, in the times where it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. He's going to be elevating people and elevating uh, lots of people that may not seem that people may not think are called to go places, are prepared to go places, or even have the ability to do certain things. But if he's called you to it, then he's definitely going to bring you through it. So get prepared for the rain. Get prepared for the flood. Find yourself preparing and doing what God said to do. 
Lord God, I just thank you for a quick motivation this Monday, Lord. I thank you for reminding us of the gifts that, and the talents that you've given us, oh God. I thank you for your word and your closeness, oh God. I thank you for being uh, uh, in relationship with you to be able to hear from you, oh God, and not question what your will and what your uh, way is for us, oh God. I pray for those people right now, God, that you've given a word to, that you've given an assignment to, that you've given... Um, something too that you want them to do, God, that may not make a whole lot of sense, that they don't find themselves questioning questioning you and missing out on what you have for them, oh God, or missing out on what you want for them to do, Lord God. Find them being confident in your word, God, confident in what you're saying, oh God, and confident in themselves enough to know that they're able to do all things through Christ, God. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for being a good father. I love you. We honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. So my, my name is Brandon. This is Inspired by Fire. This is uh, You Can Make a Muddy Motivation. Find yourself building in the dry season. Just like Noah, there are going to be some times where, especially now in today's society, where God's going to be calling us to do things that just don't add up naturally. But spiritually, it's going to make all the sense in the world. And I was reading something, and it said, Obedience unlocks your understanding. You may not understand it, but your obedience will find, in your obedience, you will begin to understand what God is trying to do. So, uh, again, this is Brandon with Inspired by Fire. This is You Can Make a Monday Motivation. If you have a prayer request, put that down below. If you've been really contemplating whether or not you want to serve God, I'm telling you it's the best decision you could ever make. If you say, you know, I want to give my life to Christ, put that information down below. Reach out. I will have my information in the description box. We will pray with you. We will speak with you. Uh, 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 and encourage you every step of the way. If you have a, uh, just a secret prayer request, you can email me and we will uh, go before the throne of grace on your behalf and pray with you as well. Till the next time, guys, my name is Brandon. God bless you.